Welcome back my Wall 2 family, it's Abraham, supervisor here at South Coast One Academy. In today's video, the topic is stainless. I'm going to be sharing a few secrets on how you can get that nice golden cap. I'm also going to be showing y'all how stainless actually communicates with you. It actually communicates better than my ex-girlfriend. So let's get this video started. And this video is sponsored by Everlast. You'll hear more about them later on on the show. Alright guys, so in today's video we're going to be using the Everlast PowerTig 250EX with IGB technology. This is a light, compact, powerful machine. Excellent for your hobbyists and for commercial use. So uh, let's talk about these settings, okay? This is actually very, very good looking machine. I like it a lot. Very sexy. Uh, these knobs right here are color coded, so it makes, it makes everything a lot easier to explain. If you look at the green dolls over here, these green knobs on the left side, okay these give me the luxury to change my uh my post flow uh the slope of my wave and the start time of my amps okay but in today's video i'm actually going to be using a standard uh tick torch right here like i would be using it out there in the field and i'm running my argon straight to uh, to the torch and i'll be uh controlling that with a knob right here uh so that's not really gonna affect me i'm not really gonna mess with those uh settings right there okay as we move over here to these blue dials over here, okay, this uh, machine runs AC so you can weld aluminum. I'm going up here with these arrows right here. Uh, this is how you would, uh, you know, choose what, what, you, what you need. Right here, I'm going to be using a foot pedal for this video. So I have it set on foot pedal. I'm going to be using DC instead of AC, but I can use, this is how you interchange between both. Let's put it on DC. And uh, I'm going to be using the high frequency start with the foot pedal so I don't contaminate my tungsten. Very easy machine to work with. Okay, in this video, I'm going to be welding at 176 amps, 175 amps. I'm going to be using 308 filler rod material. That's this right here. And I'm going to be welding on some 6 inch scheduled 80 pipe in this 304. This rock and roll. All right, guys, so let's get this show on the road, okay? I have this 6 inch stainless 304 pipe. Schedule 80. I'm going to be running beads from left to right and I'm going to be sharing a few secrets on how you can get that nice golden color everybody strives to get. And how you achieve uh, that color solely relies on the temperature of your pipe and how hot you're running. All right, uh, color is affected by, uh, by temperature and it's also affected by your argon coverage, but for the most part, uh, temperature plays a big role on, in it. Uh, in my years of experience, uh, welding stainless. I actually started out welding stainless in, at Interflex at a fab shop and there was days where I'll be running stainless huh, from uh, 5 in the morning all the way to 4.30 in the afternoon. 10 hours a day rock and rolling stainless and I learned a lot. Alright guys, so I'm going to strike up my arc right here. I'm using the foot pedal and I'm on high frequency start. Uh, I'm doing that so that I don't contaminate my tungsten. This is my first bead I'm going to start with. I'm running at 175 amps. And during the video, I might go up on amperage. Depends on what I see. But I'm running the, I'm liking the flow of my puddle. Very smooth. I think I am just might leave it there. And just like I expected it, all right? As you can see, a nice deep purple color, okay? As I go from left to right with my beads, uh, you should see that color change start to happen.
Alright, as you can see, I'm actually starting to get more, uh, starting to get more golden. Alright, guys, so I'm starting the third bead. Check that out. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is our third bead already. We already put some heat into this pipe, and you can see the color changes, okay? You can see how my bead started out at, uh, started out really, really purple, deep purple. I really like this color, man. I like this color a lot. And you can see as we go to the second bead, it's gold now with, with some hint of blue on the sides. Go over to the third bead, now it's turning really, really gold with just also a little bit of hint of gold on the sides, okay? You can see that transition of color changes. And like I said, I'm running all these beads at 175 amps, and that's what I'm going to do from left to right to see the color changes. I like it that? I am. All right, guys, we're on our uh, fifth bead here, and uh, it started out really purple, just like I uh, like I thought it was gonna turn out the first bead, and then my second bead was a little bit uh, goldish, but with a hint of blue, baby blue in it, and it starts getting more goldish after that, with a hint of blue on the sides, okay. And as uh, we go, this I'm on my I'm on my last bead now, and you can already it's starting to warm up. The reason I know it's starting to warm up because I'm starting to see a hint of reddish color in my gold, okay? That's telling me that it's kind of like, I'm uh, either I have to go down on my temperature if I wanna keep my gold co goldish color, or I can just let the pipe cool down a little bit more. But for viewing purposes, I'm gonna keep going and see what the next beat turns out to be. All right, guys, so I'm on my six bead now. It actually came out pretty goldish uh, with a hint of also reddish in there. Uh, but what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go up on my amps, all right, okay? See how that changes the color of the bead. I have a feeling it's gonna, it's gonna turn out pretty reddish. Hey guys, I turned it up my machine to 200 amps for this bead right here. All right, guys, I'm on my one, two, three, I'm like on my seventh bead. As you can already tell, it's turning into that faded purple I was talking to you guys, to you guys about. Right there is telling me that the pipe is getting way too hot and that, my, uh, and that I need to go down on my amps or I need to let the pipe cool down. But for viewing purposes, I'm gonna keep going. And I can tell that I'm really hot or that the pipe is getting hot 
because my road pool is looking funny when I'm going side to side. It's looking very, very watery. It's like I'm moving water from side to side instead of having a nice thick puddle. The puddle is looking very watery. That's another indication that I'm burning too hot and that the pipe is really hot. And that I should let it cool down. All right guys, so there you have it. 11 beads back to back with TIG, okay? Uh, this video was done so that I can reveal the secrets on how to get that golden cap. So let's talk about my welds right here. I'm gonna start out with the first bead right here. Uh, it, was, it came out a purple color, just like I expected it. Welding at Interflex, in my early years, I welded a lot of stainless steel. And uh, I learned how to talk to the metal, or I learned how to understand the metal as it talked to me, okay? And it talks to you by colors. When the pipe is really, when stainless steel is really cold, uh, it'll give you a purple color, deep purple color. After that, it'll transition into a uh, bluish color. After blue, that bluish color, it'll transition to baby blue. And from baby blue, you start getting gold. You know, that's that look that everybody wants for and that looks for, that looks for actually. After that gold color, once the pipe starts heating up or you, you know, you start burning hotter, um, you know, you start getting a little bit of reddish into that gold, just like you see here, okay? That's an indication that you need to either turn down your amps or let the pipe cool down longer or just let it cool down, period. After that reddish color is gonna give you this uh, faded purple grayish color, as you can see right here again, okay? And that's letting you know, hey, uh, you're at that point where you're about to overcook the metal. And if you keep going, the world just starts getting grayer and uglier, as you can see right here. Okay, and this is the purpose I wanted to, you know, demonstrate to y'all right here. It starts from this purplish color. You see some blue in there. Then you see some gold. Then you see some reddish around this area. And after that reddish color, bam, you get that overcooked, ugly color, and gray, which you don't want. Okay. All right, guys. So what's the secret behind getting that golden cap? It's running just right, not too hot and not too cold, just like warm apple pie. So if you like this video guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, until next time.